Hey guys, so this is August Favorites 2012, and oh my god, I can't even believe uh, we're almost pretty much at the end of 2012. Um, and looking forward to 2013 if we're all still around and it hasn't been Armageddon time, um, which I'm not planning it. <laughs> I always just think how ironic because I'm always thinking really honestly haven't we learned from you know Y2K and all that sort of stuff but man who's going to be eating a lot of crow when you know all of a sudden a huge meteor hits and I'm sitting there going whoops well I didn't prepare for any of this but honestly like I've always said if it is Armageddon and there's like you know 80% of the population is wiped out you know what, honestly, it's time for me to check out. I'm not going to be good, like, foraging for grubs and, you know, living off the land and, you know, sort of being a bush person or whatever. I just think, forget it, I'm not made for that. And uh, anyways, okay, I digress. Let's make this really, really quick, shall we? So my favorites, um, I did a review. Hopefully it's already been up. Um, the Real Techniques brushes, love, love, love them. Use them every single day. Not all of them, but at least one if not two or three every single day so loving that um really not using uh or wearing foundation it's just way 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 too hot these days so if i'm not i'm using the same sort of thing this works perfect look skin miracle of course i got the idea from lisa eldridge as you can see i'm almost done but it doesn't really matter because you know what i picked up three or four backups because i love it that much for summertime it's like the the for those of you who don't know, because you know, I'm not ex sort of assuming that you watch all of my videos because who the hell can take that? Um, tinted. Looks like quite a bit, right? But, you know, obviously you blend it into your skin and it's just, oh, the tiniest, tiny, tiniest, I don't know if you could even tell, but you really do notice it, um, just how great and healthy your skin looks and it does give you that tiny bit of, um, of sun-kissed and it's really it's more so of a serum because it has all of my, you know, hyaluronic, um, vitamin E, C, all sorts of stuff, but I look at this more as uh, makeup than skincare probably because it's tinted, so love that and I almost always use it in conjunction. Sometimes I use this alone because I really don't need, you know, to be flawless or anything. Um, but a lot of the times I use these two in conjunction, the Guerlain Spraying Bronzer, now talk about Flawless, amazing when you use those two together. Now if I am wearing foundation, if I have to wear foundation in this heat, um, Vita Lumiere, Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. I had to get it in two colors because I'm sort of in between, I'm not quite 40 amber and I'm definitely darker than 30 beige, so I kind of mix those two together. Um, <clears throat> Because I don't tend to use this a lot, I have to shake the mother hell out of these suckers be, to, or else they just separate. And that's kind of pissing me off. And I guess it's for people who do wear foundation every day, but you know, I can go weeks without wearing foundation and then this has been sitting and I have to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And I pour some out and it kind of goes And then I have to like go, oh, go on and shake it, shake it, shake it some more. So that's the only kind of downer. But again, if I start to use it more often, I'm sure I won't have to go through that. Um, so that's that for the skin. For cheeks, I'm kind of using the Daniel Sandler a lot. Um, it's the Soft Peach. I had to order it from the UK. I can't find that in Canada. At least I can't, maybe you can. Um, <clears throat> eyeshadows. Burberry, hello. I'm loving it. I had to go pick up a gazillion more. So, um, taupe brown. Taupe brown because I've been doing a lot of um, sort of minimalistic like nothing well here this is what I've been using because the other thing is the Stila palette I love this mother hell palette it's probably the most loved and used palette even though it looks <coughs> brand spanking new still believe me folks I do use this every single day um I'm just really 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 good with my makeup like if you see anything there's it's really not grungy and I've had so many people ask me how do you keep your makeup so clean why does it look like brand new and I know you've had it for a while it's because I'm crazy anal people it's because I have a disease um, so anytime I use something I wipe it down if I see like as I was talking to you I saw a little tiny fleck there my first thing is screw the video I have to clean this so that's why um, that's why everything looks new is because I have OCD um, not to the point where it's debilitating but I'm definitely OCD girl 
Right, so I will use this color, which is bone or bare or what the hell. Bare. That all over the lid, and then I will into the crease, taupe brown. Taupe brown, it's just like a gray brown. I'm loving it. Doing that quite a bit. Um, so it just looks sort of like a contour dye a little bit. Um, because I've been using the Kevin O'Quan for, for contouring a lot, um, and I skipped July's favorite, so now I've sort of moved on to the Burberry Taupe. So um, I was using that in July a lot, the Kevin O'Quan, I mean. Uh, the next one is Khaki from Burberry. I love this Mother Hell color. I can't even describe it to you. I, I sort of used it once, and I was like, oh, I really, really like that. And then um, I went on to just like play with all my other new colors, and then I came back to this in the month of August, and I, love it. It's one of my favorite, favorite colors. It's a matte. Same as the taupe brown. They're both mattes. Um, but this khaki just is so beautiful. It's just so, so, you know what? That's all I can say because I'm going to start to cry. <laughs> so cool. Oh, whatever. Okay. So NARS Ponderosa. Um, I think it was limited edition. I'm not so sure. Creamy. It's a NARS cream product. Oh, wow. I think I did one or two swirl. Sort of par for the course for NARS, right? Super, super highly pigmented. I'm actually wearing this right now with eyeshadow on top. So that's how much you can sheer it out. I use this as a base, and then um, I think I used a YSL brown. So there's that. Um, what the mother hell? Sorry, guys. I just have to get some Kleenex. Right. Eyeshadow, eyeshadow, eyeshadow. Gotcha. Oh. Lip product, um, Chanel. I don't know if I will have already um, sort of uh, gone through this um, by the time August <laughs> is fully over, or no, should I say September? September's over. Um, I'll probably have gone through this. I love this lip liner so much. It's Chanel's 36 beige I can't even I mean I've gone and on on and on and on about this so I'm not even going to so that coupled with YSL number six what I'm wearing right now is it or am I wearing 12 gosh I can't even remember I think I've worn both of them throughout the day so um love it love it but the Chanel lip liner with this together in conjunction takes it to a whole mother hell level you like you won't even believe it but mm, love that this Lash Genius, it's Anastasia's Lash Genius. I think I showed it in a, a previous haul. And um, I, you know what? There's a part of me that thought maybe it's a bit sort of overhyped or maybe it's a gimmick. This sucker works. I The first time I tested it out, it took me a, a couple of weeks to even um, try it. I don't know why, but I was just like, uh, I was kind of sitting there. I had a lot of different products to go through. And um, so anyways, I decided to do the test where... I used fresh mascara, which you guys know I love, but it turned out I had no idea that it was not waterproof because I loved it, loved it throughout the fall and winter, spring even, and then summer hit, and I was like, what the hell is up with the raccoon eyes with this fresh, and it turns out it's not a waterproof mascara, so I kind of had to shelf it for a little while, so I thought, you know what, that's the perfect mascara to do this test with. So basically, I used the fresh, which in this heat and humidity is like raccoon eyes within 10 minutes. So I use Lash Genius on one eye and not in the other. This sucker works. The one that I used it on, not a single drop of it under the eye. The other one, it was just like, holy, my, I had more under my eyes than I had above my eyes. That's how, just what a hot mess it was. So this, even though I thought it was a gimmick, is not, it's amazing. You can use it with any mascara that you love. Like I know Dior Show and a couple of other ones that aren't waterproof, um, this will work. So it is, it's mother health genius, just like the name says. And um, is that it? Oh, nut balls, I forgot it. Okay, the other thing is a spa ritual pot. Should I even bother getting it? Oh God, people, okay, hold on. All right, I'm back. Okay, so my last product is this particular polish. Can you even see it? I don't know. So it's really just clean, nudie, whatever. Um, and it's Spa Ritual, which is a total vegan um, nail polish line. And it's called Innocence 
is bliss and I'm only using one coat of it because two coats makes it look like ass. It's just hideous. With two coats, it doesn't look normal. It doesn't look right. With one coat, it just looks like super, super healthy, clean nails. Now, the reason why I got it is because my beloved um, Deborah Lipman Whiter Shade of Pale, that is my favorite, favorite sort of clear white-ish, it's not really white, but healthy nail polish um, or healthy looking nails polish. I love that. Love that shade. I can't seem to really find it where I get um, my Deborah Lipman polishes, which is at Murel. Maybe they're just sold out of it. Um, or maybe it was limited edition. I'm sure I could get it online. I'm almost positive I could get it online. But um, so I got this because I thought, oh, it's kind of similar. And because I love the Deborah Lipman so much, and if I can't get it so readily, once it's down, I'm just going to be like, oh, in a panic. So there are days where I sort of switch off because that is my holy of holy grails for that kind of shade. But this is really, really a nice second. It kind of gives the same effect, but again, like with the Deborah Lipman, you think they're kind of the same, but no, she just has an undertone. She just has a certain shade that's just the tiny bit is a bit different from something, and it makes all the difference in the world. So there you go. Those are my August favorites. Um, hopefully it didn't go on forever, and if you guys have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below, and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. Although, like I've said before, um, in the coming months, uh, if not, I don't even want to say years, because um, I don't know if I'm going to be on YouTube for that long, but anyways, um, it is going to be a little bit more difficult um, to get back to you as quickly as I used to be able to get back to you, but I will always try and get back to you. So anyways, I hope you're having a, a wonderful summer still, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.